G'day all, welcome back to Frostbite's G.I. Joe Repro. Um, today we're just going to do a little bit of repair. So I picked this vintage Kenner Stormtrooper up from um, Shane Goulden, one of the uh, best online Facebook toy auction guys in Australia. Uh, got it for a steal and rightly so because it's you know not in the best condition. You can see that's its bar. Just looking at its condition, like it's not too bad, but there's a fair chunk of paint loss. Um, so we're just going to clean it up and then give it some touch ups and, you know, be right to add into the collection. So the first thing I'm going to do is, because getting this from, this thing was released in uh, around, what, 79 or something, 80. So I'm going to give them a clean and just noting that's, I'm just using these wipes. These are available here in Australia from just Coles. They're just Coles home brand wipes, antibacterial wipes. I uh, always have a bit of a laugh when I wipe a toy down that's vintage and you can tell it's been played with all its life and, uh, you know, had food and dirt and mud and, and everything put on them and you give them a wipe down and it, sometimes, this one's not too bad, but sometimes it's just... Pretty funny to see the level of dirt that comes off them. And people are just chucking these into their collections, no worries. Which, eh, it's not a big deal. But how hard is it just to wipe something down and, and clean it up, you know? I sort of just feel these toys have served us well and, and they deserve to look good. So, yeah. Nothing too bad coming off that. That's good. And then just getting a tea towel now that it's been cleaned, just wiping it down and we're going to get it ready for painting. As you can tell already that's looking better just from just from a general clean. So all we're going to aim for is just these just slight um, bits of paint that need to be touched up. It's not a lot, lot of work on this one, but we're getting back to working order. Back on duty. So what I'm using for this is a um, very, very fine, like smallest paintbrush I could find. Um, you know, just go to your local art shop and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on these things. I think I got a five pack for eight bucks or something. Really not expensive. And then as I've uh, alluded to before in previous videos, I go to my local Warhammer nerd shop and um, I just grab this Citadel paint. Costs about $6.50 Australian for a little pot. And the pots last you ages. So yeah, give that a good shake. And this one's a base, so it's gonna come out a um, bit of a stronger color rather than using one of the layer ones, which you'll have to do a few times because it's just, it's only a layer. So get our paintbrush, give it a bit of water. These, this thing I'm using as a paint pot, it's dark because I think I've used this about 20 or 30 times. Um, it's actually a source container from a local fast food place. Uh, I'm quite a big fan on recycling so you know why go and pay for some kind of paint pot container or something you go and pay five or ten bucks for that 
you just go and get your meal from the local place, wash all the sauce out of this thing and bam, it's just as good. Okay, so watered the paintbrush down a little bit. Just get a little bit. There's nothing scary about this. If you are worried about having to do this, I would fully recommend that you go and spend $6 in paint. And just give it a go. don't have a lot to lose. Just remember you own these toys. So if you muck it up, it's only you that has to live with this. And on the same, what are you really going to muck up? It's his hand. It's Give that a bit of a touch up. So that looks better already. And it's really this band part at the top I want to try and fix up. That's looking great. Okay, and the good thing about this paint is it dries really quickly. So you can get the painting done and then go and paint some other area and that first area will be dry. This hand really needs the paint.
This makes a world of difference to uh, get some pain onto this. Where that's come from. There we go. I think that's actually all I might need to do. I think I reckon he's done. So as you can see, just a couple of hits with some black paint, which cost six dollars, and we've got this guy looking great. I reckon. Okay, well, if you like the content, please uh, hit the like button on the video. Um, please sub to the account if you're not already subbed, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye-bye.